channel if you are new to my channel my name is Jennifer I am a Korean Australian living in New York right now I moved to New York initially in 2021 for college and then I took a gap year in 2022 to 2023 in Seoul and now I'm back in New York to continue my second year in communication design I have this perfectionism where if my video doesn't look complete and you know, well made that I wouldn't want to post it. That is why I just haven't been uploading on YouTube. Plus, I just had so much going on in my life in 2023. I had an accident in February, 2023. I was snowboarding, I fell over and I ended up like badly fracturing my left arm. Luckily it's my left, I'm right-handed. I got one initial surgery to fix the bone with like a really big nail it didn't heal very well so i ended up having to get bone graft surgery in july it really slowed down my life because i completely stopped going to the gym and now that i'm back in new york and i'm back in school i've been doing everything that i wanted to be doing for a long time so yeah i wanted to show you guys just like what i've been up to so in terms of like gym and fitness i noticed that my that one video that i posted of my gym workout in new york it had been still gaining some views like new viewers um and it's a really old video i don't work out like that anymore and i have gotten some comments asking me about my workouts and stuff i thought i'd give you an update on like what i do for my exercises i completely stopped gymming i don't have a gym membership here anymore i don't use any like big machines hip abductor hip thrust i haven't done that since my surgery i do want to do more resistant workouts i'm just going to focus mainly on doing body weight exercises but making them intense enough for me to be like sweaty so that's why i've kind of been trying out some hit cycles because those really help me kind of get my heartbeat up but i do a lot of full body workouts now which is completely new and different to what i used to do the past like three years because i used to always just go to gym pick like a body part that i want to train for the day and i would just hit that the same body part for like one whole hour i just want to be lean and fit and I want to be able to walk around the whole day without getting too tired. That's just my goal at the gym right now. I'll make sure to update you on what I do at the gym, how my routines have changed. So I think that's it for just a really brief catch up update on my life so far. Since I've moved back to New York, I have been decorating my room a lot. I've been cooking a lot. I've been trying to vlog as well. Make sure to hang on there. If I post a new video, please come back and watch them. Thank you a lot for still being here and let me know if you have any questions or just any suggestions for the next video. Bye-bye. Hope to see you soon. Just like I said, but he's a very. I'll just shove it into the groove and then we put it down. I'm not just Oh shit, sorry, I forgot. What? So much cream cheese. iterations that I like and then I'm going to sleep <sighs> The only thing I can really think of is like reversing is like I'm so good. This is like the basement floor of the UC. Uh, 
Viola C, Rookie und Fly C. unrecognizable. It doesn't even look like some of the If you like hop the yolk in the soup, it tastes extra delicious. Mm. Can't believe this is Monday. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the right time again. Are you enjoying it? It's really, really good. good. Yeah. Really good. This in code, and it's sort of a red flag. It's like, oh shit, that's you know, did somebody just like kind of get a little bit crazy and just? Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> I don't have a picture of it after the oven, but I have it before the oh oven. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. So I stress it all the time. Yes. Since I've been back, I've been like, oh, I'm a terrible. Currently 4 p.m. I've just kind of been snacking, watching TikToks, procrastinating since I got home like around one and a half hour ago. It's time to start working again. Before I start working, I just wanted to show you guys some of the projects I did this semester because I didn't really vlog any of them. The cool classes we're taking this semester are Typography Studio and Interaction. Interaction is a course where we study like coding basically. So we are building a website right now, which is not really going well. I really wish I had taken like HTML and CSS classes during my gap, but I'm really enjoying my current um, typography class right now. I have this entire bin of printed papers. The first like real design assignment that we did was this modular face. I used uh, squares and semicircles. No, 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 quarter circles. Yeah, this this project was pretty fun. And I think we only spent like a week on it, maybe a week and a half. That is, this is what the typeface looks like printed on the grid. So we had to design a record cover, a black and white record cover using accidents grotesque uh, for JS Bach. So strange, yeah. It was a classical music. <laughs> to design the record covers so this project was around I think two or three weeks and there were like really specific rules for each iteration 
all of them are only black and white but the first iteration was only one type size uh, second iteration was two type sizes and third iteration was three type sizes with 45 degree increments rotations of the text so as you can see they are all pretty simple and you know pretty minimal my favorites are probably the three size ones because those went kind of crazy let me see oh i keep losing all my prints i found them <sighs> this is the first iteration um black and white only one type size no rotation Already you can see, like, this is the first iteration and the second iteration, you can kind of see, like, the scaling of the text is getting more dynamic. You can definitely start seeing the hierarchy of the information because I emphasize JS block throughout all my record covers. So, JS block on the left and then on the right, all the other information. Three type sizes and rotation of the text in 45 degree increments. This is the first one, so bark. This one is probably my favorite. You can see JS. I blew them up so it's like kind of out of the frame, but you can kind of still read. I know it's flipped right now, but you can still read JS bark. And yeah. This is probably my favorite. And the last one. It's kind of boring, not the best. So yeah. Look how many drafts I made. And then um, we had one more project after this, which was like a like a PDF presentation. Yeah, that one was boring. I mean, no, it wasn't boring. It was like a research presentation about a type boundary that a professor just randomly assigned us. Now I would call this a midterm. A midterm right now is like a manifesto design poster where we pick a design related manifesto. A professor like gave us like a whole list and we have to read through them, select the one that we liked and make a poster. This one we can use colors and we can also use multiple type sizes, typefaces. Just like a really basic grid design. So this is the second iteration that I have been working on. This isn't done yet. Yeah, it's still work in progress. Um, so I'm planning to make uh, three more finished drafts to print for tomorrow. And then I'm going to study a bit of German as well. There are no timers on HomePod. Five minutes. Hey Siri. Uh huh. Five minutes timer now. Five minutes starting now.